Christian Eriksen did get an injury in the heart of January. So, Man United need a midfielder, and this man has done absolutely wonderful things since he's come into the club. Today, we have got a team takedown on Man United version of Marcel Sabitzer. Of course, we have just come away. Carabao Cup victorious on Sunday against Newcastle. It was a very, very good game of football. First trophy we've had since, what, 2017? Ten arcs first, hopefully the first of many. And uh, this man, hopefully, I'd like to think we'll sign him in the summer. Captain Tom is joining us today. Of Hello. course, the team take down. Yes. Um, what have you seen of Sabitzer so far, mate? I know you don't watch football as avidly as uh, some of us do, but uh, what have you seen of him so far? Um, nothing. Absolutely have you not, have nothing. You, have you not seen him? I once? literally have not seen him. All I've been able to do so far is because he's a midfielder. So whenever he's like playing, unless he's yeah. like involved in the action or goal, I don't see him yeah. because I watch all the highlights rather than actually watching the full matches. Um, Fair. So, you give us a rundown. Okay. Tell us, mate. Okay, I, that, good, good, good thing, mate. I can give you a rundown. Well, one thing I can say, very, very tidy player. He's, he's similar to Ericsson in ways where he's not one that gets rushed on the ball. He does take his time. Very, very good passing range. And he's kind of slotted into our midfield quite nicely when we've mm. used him in the Premier League so far. Uh, he didn't feature that much in cup competitions just yet, but... The amount of games that we're having, we're having like two games a week at the minute. He's play, like playing either Wednesday or Thursday and Sunday every week. So he's definitely going to be useful for us. And I, I do hope that we do get him on a permanent on uh, in the summer. I think he'll be quite quite a good, good player to have around. And again, he's one of those, mate. He's quite tidy. And I hope I hope he does well, if I'm honest. What, what do you reckon is... I think he had a Team of the Year Honourable Mentions card for Leipzig. Yeah, it was like, like a meme, year, wasn't it? Because before. it was extremely yeah. expensive. Like, it was so, so expensive that no one did it. I think there absolutely. Was, like, absolutely. There might have been like three people in the entire game that did it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It was like 700k or something but he, at the time, and everyone was like, what? Yeah, he, he was Leipzig and then Bayern, wasn't he? And, like, he yeah. was, like, absolutely killing it for Leipzig. Bayern bought him up so they didn't have as much competition and then just benched him. Yeah, um, it's, that seems to funny. happen quite a lot in the German league, doesn't it? Where it's like, well, have you seen the latest thing from the summer, mate? That is honestly, it feels yeah, so that crooked crazy. that they're just like, oh, Neuer's <laughs> injured, and we don't want to use our reserve goalkeeper, so we're just going to take Mock and Gladbach's keeper because he's good. We'll have Summer. It, there you go. He's in our ranks now. Nothing you can do. It's about unreal, it. isn't it? It's it's genuinely like they cherry pick who they want from the Bundesliga, and no matter who what, who they play for. Even if it be Dortmund, obviously, they've had the likes of Goethe, uh, Lewandowski and stuff yep. like that go to Bayern. They seem to just get whoever they want from the Bundesliga, which is kind of good for Bayern. But then for the rest of the league, it's like, oh, yeah, I Bayern mean, can just go, it, yep, I want him. Thank you. I mean, it, it basically him. puts Bayern in a league where they can actually compete on the European scene, but then completely Very true. dismantles the rest of the league in terms of like competitiveness because Bayern just steamroller every year. Interestingly, Curtis, hmm. if you go to Google Chrome right now and search Carabao okay. Cup Final, go and have a look at okay. what happens. Oh, there's fireworks! <laughs> <laughs> no way. What? That's, that's, I swear, Google come up with some weird stuff. And see, everyone did watching these videos now are probably going to do that if they're on laptop or something like that. That's yeah. class. I love that. Wait, there's a share oh. button, so you can share it with everyone if you want. Just copy the link and put it in the description. There you go. Easy. Oh, class. There you go. I'll sort that out for your faces. Love to see it. Well, <laughs> Tom, we have a bit of a task on our hands today because probably everyone wondering at home, they're like, Curbs, Tom, it's the 27th of February recording this video. Mm. Why have you got an 80-rated gold card for a Team Takedown episode? Mm. So, me and Tom have got a task on our hands to build some very, very nice squads. Mm. And uh, we need some formations as well. But luckily for you lot, we've already got our formations chosen. So, Tom, I'm going to throw it right at you, my friend. Would you like to ask me a question about my formation, or do you want to have a straight-up guess? Or should I have a straight-up spin of the wheel for the special rule first, and then we'll do the You form? can also do that as well, to be fair. That would probably help. Okay. It's been that long. It's spinning, mate. <laughs> it's quite, quite funny, because even when the wheel was a prominent thing in previous years of FIFA, I always forget that the wheel <laughs> You've was You've forgotten it ever. You've always forgotten it. You just yeah. can't. And now can't. It just doesn't again, go yeah. in your head, mate. Um, <laughs> doesn't God, know. you must have been so upset when the caveman discovered the wheel. Um, anyway... Exactly. Um, we have got no icons or heroes in our squads today, mate. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okie okay. dokie. Absolutely fine. Well, that doesn't really change too much for our formations, I don't think, no, mate. It so doesn't. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll chuck it right back at you. Would you like to ask me a question or a guess? Um, I'm going to go uh, with something slightly different. So, does your formation have three 
central midfielders, like as in it could have like a CDM, a cam, and a centre mid, or two CDMs and a centre mid, or two CDMs and a cam. Basically, are there a total of three? <laughs> three midfielders from whichever variation. Yeah. That's what you're asking. Yeah. No. no. It does not. Okay. That takes out all the 4-3-3s, the 4-3-2-1. It takes out like... I was going to say, that's actually quite a good question, actually. Yeah. I like that. That's good. It doesn't, really good. doesn't take out the 4-3-1-2, though. Um, let me just scroll through some formations. So then... What formation? What positions can the bits of play? Is it like a centre mid? Oh, no, Funnily enough, he can play centre mid, cam and CDM. Interesting. Um, and that's case. I'm going to go with as many midfielders as possible. 4 2 3 1 with all the cams. Very nice. No. Funnily enough, I've uh, I've gone for the 4 4 2. Oh, just the flatty. Indeed. Yeah, I thought. Okay. Best to be safe than sorry, mate, you know? Yeah, understood. So, lovely stuff. Okay. So, for you then, mate, um, again, going on the information that he can play anywhere, probably a good choice to choose one that maybe has. Either two of the positions. I don't know. Is there, is there a one with... Oh, the 41212 wide actually has all three. It has a CDM, centre mid, and a cam. And that's the one I'm going to say. Because it gives you more opportunity to use him everywhere. So, yes. 41212 wide, Tom. Um, I've actually gone a bit rogue. I've gone 424. Interesting. Attack, attack, very, attack. Very interesting. Say. All right. Well... Could lead into a very, very interesting game. But it is time to go build some teams. So uh, if you want to play along with us, then do look away. And I'll let you know when it's safe to look back. All right, then. These are your completed teams for today's episode. Lock them in, load them up, because we're about to remove them and get into the guessing. Locked and loaded, baby. Into the guessing we go, then. Tom, we've got 13 rounds of pure carnage ready to go. Hopefully not brain deadness from me. Where would you like to go first? Ooh. Interesting. Let's go for the right back. Okie dokie, my friend. Are they from the Premier League? They are not. Okay. Right, let's have a look at what Austrians are in this game. Uh, maybe make a, a lucky or informed choice. We obviously have, have Alaba, Arnautovic, and then we have Posh as well. Posh can actually play right back. So he may be my decision. Um, Danzo. I think I'm going to say, is your right back from La Liga? No. You got posh. I do not. And I'm sorry to be a pain, but I'm also going to call in my block. Okay. Good to, okay. Get it, good to get it out of the way early, isn't it? Yeah, very, very true, mate. Very, very true. Okay. For yourself, mate, I'm kind of in the same boat because there's not that many Austrians. Um, but if I find that you've managed to go an Austrian route, which it's not a very you thing to do other than the perfect link of Arnautovic and Bosch, then I don't know. But I feel like you might try and sneak maybe the rule breaker David Alaba if you still got it in as well. But if I'm honest, mate, I ain't got a Scooby-Doo. So I will also go for right back, mate. And I'm going to say... Is this player in the Prem or the Serie A? Prem or the Serie A? Uh, yes. 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 Okay. Is this player either Wambasaka, Dallo, or Posh? It's not, no. Okay, so you haven't gone the route I thought you may have gone. Um, I think I'm just going to shoot a Prem one. I feel like that's safer. I would just double check I haven't missed any other Austrians in the Serie A. No, I didn't. Okay, let's go for a Prem one. They're more readily available over there. And it's not Dallo, and it's what not Wambasaka, which is quite nice, actually. Quite nice, actually. Um, hmm. There's two that come to mind. There's Kieran Trippier and Emerson Royale. Um, I'm going to say Emerson Royale. Oh, for goodness sake. When will I ever get away with anything, ever, in this series? I just cannot get away with anything. <laughs> no I could put shot. a, no wow. a non-red gold in and still lose it. Yeah, it's actually Royale. He's that's not even wild. Good. He's not even good. Bro, his stats look quite good on this inform, to be fair. I don't Come know why. Now, I just looked Kurt. at him and I was like, he's a right wing back. Come on now, Kurt. He just, he just, he just looks very tall. four stats and his maximum is 83. Four stats over 80. How can you say that? Yeah, good? they look consistently okay. Nothing. They don't look spectacular. Distinctly below average, more like. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, well, in that case, I'm instantly drawn to have a look at Brazilians in the Premier League. And the ones in centre mid do look tasty for obvious reasons. And then again, so do the wingers as well. I'm going to go for right centre mid. And first thing I'm going to ask is, is this player Brazilian? Uh, I have Sabitzer on the right centre mid. But Sorry, you're left centre mid. Left then, centre mid. Uh, is he Brazilian? No. He's not. Okay. Um... Is this player in the Premier League then? No. Okay, so this is a, another league. Good to find out. Um, I mean, there's not really much to go off, is there really? But is there any Austrian midfielders elsewhere? The only one that I can say really, is this Conrad Lima? It's not, no. Um, and I'll use my block there. Fair enough. I was, I was very much expecting it. Left play. Uh, left back. Um, uh, okay. They from the Premier League. They're not. Okay. So we said, are they La Liga? And then you blocked it. Is this player from. It doesn't really matter, does it? I guess. To be honest. Let's say it again. Do have any left backs? Any Carla Mendy? Um, I'll say, is this player from. Is he from League Un? No, he's not, mate. No. I'll say if you got Perla Mendy. I don't, mate. I do have Rafa Guerrero, though. Very airy, airy. -o. I almost said Bundesliga as well. But I, I heard the I would, I heard yeah. the book come it's out. Unli <laughs> it's unlikely that I would have ever said him, though, if it was out of all the Bundesliga left by. So that's fine. Fair. Okay. Righty ho. Um, so we don't know what's at left centre mid. It's not an Austrian Lima, which is, I guess it's kind of a good thing to know. But I'll go for your right wing then, mate. And I will ask, is this player in the Premier League? This is my... Right winger, please. He's not. Okay. Is this player Brazilian? No. Okay. So I have absolutely nothing to go off. And it doesn't give any chemistry at all. Let me just double check a forwards from Austria. Assuming there is none. Oh, actually, I should say this guy just to cover it off, really. Is it Wimmer? It's not, no. Um, I have, uh, I have to cover it off. I have Eric Lamella. Eric Lamella? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Hmm. Okay. Right, I know you're right back. Not... I know your right back is not Prem and not La Liga, therefore it can't be Dallo. Chance that you have either Bruno Fernandes or Ronaldo in your team. So I'll go for the right mid. Okay. And I'll say, is this player in the Premier League? Uh, yes. Okay. Anyone else from United that we should be worried about? Look. Right. We have the Bruno Fernandes card. Have uh, Langa. Play right mid. Mm, this Fred card doesn't, does he? No, he's only left wing, strangely. I don't think Rashford can play that side either. Or Anthony. Um, I guess I'll say, is your player either Elanga or Anthony? Uh, no. Do you have Bruno Fernandes? I might do. Mm. Yes. I do. <laughs> yes. Those new Team of the Weeks have flipping done us both there, mate. They have, mate. <laughs> done done us done us. Just stick with the stuff that came out in September last year. You'll never be guessed then. Exactly, mate, yeah. Alright, okay, Sorry. that's something. Um, One guess a piece, mate. It is. Right, um... I want to go hunting around for Dortmund players. I mean, that, that right centre mid is very much a scary looking Bellingham, but you might have him at left mid as well. Who knows? I guess I'll go left mid. Okay. And I'll say, is this player from the Premier League? No, mate, no. Okay. 
Now there is a brand new card I'm actually hoping to do it for my episode from Dortmund. This showdown left mid. But I don't think I said that to you, so there's probably so there's no there's no honour between us here where you don't use the player that we're gonna use in my episode because you had no idea I was gonna to want to use him for my episode, so there's a chance that you're using him. Let's have a look. I think Dortmund are pretty limited in the players that they have for left mid. I think it is literally like Bellingham. Oh, and there's... Oh, no. Adeyemi doesn't play there. Who am I thinking that plays there? I thought there was a left... Oh, there we go. Marlon. That's who I thought it might be. Right. Um, is your player either Marlon or Bino Gittens? It's not. Okay, in that case, I'll say if you got just double check, you can play left mid. Bellingham. No, I don't. I have Hernani. What is that? He's a uh, Portuguese man. He used to play for. Oh, I can't remember I can't now. remember off the top of my head. It's uh, Levante, I believe. Hernani. Yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Where will I find this? And he's uh, he's a right mid by default, mate. So he's he's nice and sneaky for my team. Yeah. I mean, so sneaky, I've never even heard of him, mate. <laughs> exactly, yeah. There That's surprising is. for you as well. Your knowledge is normally like you are the king of footwears, mate. From Rio Ave. Interesting. And he's winning wild cards. Oh, he's got five stars. He's been around for a little while, hasn't he? He has, mate, yeah. Good um, little card. That's why I want to use him, you know? Interesting. Utilize yeah, yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, for yourself, mate, I think I'm going to have to go for left back, please. And first thing I'll ask is, is this player Argentinian? No. Okay, so it's not Lissandro and it's not Acuna. Okay. Is this player in the Premier League? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, my head is screaming Luke Shaw, but there is also Terrell Malassia. I should have just said Man United and then go Juggler on the Prem. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I don't think you would have gone João Cancelo. Your team doesn't look very Portuguese at all. Oh, no. I don't think you're going to go Ecuador or Scotland. Or quite frankly, Liverpool links. So, honestly, it's sure all Malassia for me. There could be a right back that goes to left back, but I, I doubt it's that actually. And you've been stung in the backside with Ben Godfrey before, so I don't think you I don't think you're gonna visit that again. I'm gonna say Tyrell Malassia. It's not. It's uh Winter Wild Cards Robertson. So you have very, very interesting. Your chemistry is a little bit all over the gap then. Okay. Fair. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Right down the rounds here. Right mid, left mid. Round number nine, I put this as. Jeez. Um. I think. Not much left to go. That potentially you have Wilson Banafar right back. And I'm just looking to try and find out who you might have in one of your remaining positions as Portuguese that would then get you full chem because you need three Liga Nos players. You can use any of these really. I play striker or left wing, I don't really want to get into a striker look around. Back before it been there. Yeah. Interesting. Um I think I've got to go your goalkeeper. Fair. And say, does he play in the Premier League? No. Okay. Oh, look. Problem is, I'm just going to shoot between the two. Do I waste all my time trying to think of a smart way to say this, but just or just say the two different what I think it will be? Um, I'll say, is your player Diogo Costa? His beat. Okay, right. Five of these. I'm almost certain that's going to be Wilson Manafara right back. 
or some Portuguese right back from the Liga Portuguesa. Because unless it's a Bundesliga player, I mean it could still be Munier. I don't know why you'd be trying to protect Munier when you're a player from that club is Guerriero. That's wrong as duo. I think more likely it's Wilson Manafar and he's tried to hide it. Okay. And we got five Portuguese. Do I have more? I think I'll go for the right centre mid now. Okay. Is this player from the Premier League? It is. Hmm. Interesting. Because all we've got at the moment is women Portuguese players everywhere. And it could still be more Portuguese. Are they Portuguese? They are. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll be Bruno Fernandes. So our choices are Bernardo Silva, Fabio Vieira, and Palinha. Oh, and there's also Fabio Carvalho as well from Liverpool. He doesn't look very good. And then there's Ruben Ned. There is actually a a glut and room uh, Mateus Nunes bloom it neck I think I'm going to go for the one that's most likely in your club and I think you'll probably have Fabio Vieira as well but I'm going to say do you have Palinha I do oh he's got him oh baby he's got him oh that's a painful one mm, painful damn one. okay oh, round dear. number 11 goes to you my friend oh god Let's look, let me just quickly look at I mean, you don't need... At this point, you don't need any Fulham players. He's just built a full Portuguese team. Is that what's happened? Essentially, it's just like a full Portugal team. Jesus. I don't know. I'll go... I'll go right striker. Are they Portuguese? No, man. Okay. It does eventually end then. <laughs> the Portuguese-ness finishes. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna actually. Are they play for Dortmund. Here we go. They do. Oh, okay. Right. Which one is it gonna be? Bundesliga. We have Adeyemi. I don't think Royce, Royce can play there as well. There's Marlon and there's Hal, Al, Alaire. Alaire does have 99 physical. Five star weak foot. And he beat Cancer, so he'll probably beat me as well. Um. I can't see any Ivory Coast players being in your squad though, from what you've got. I think I'm going to take him out of the equation. I need, I need Dutch players for Fulham, not what I can think of. German players for Fulham, there's Leno, but you've already got a goalie, so it can't be him. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I'll say this one because it's the quickest. You've got Adiemi. Yep. Oh, oh my god, god man. <laughs> it started so bad for me, but oh it just my completely god. Oh dear. Is that the three in a oh, row? That is that that was a, a, a tasty triple, mate, I as, as Andy would call it. Triple, oh yeah. good god. Okay. Fair. Right. Um round number twelve then. Ah, oh, dearie, mate. I need to get something here, but my head is just completely gone. I'm going to have to go for goalkeeper, mate. And uh, I'm going to ask, is this player Brazilian? Yeah. No. It's not. No. Oh, I was really hoping this was potentially going to be Alisson. Okay. Um... My feelings might be David or it might be Martinez. Is this player De Gea or Martinez? No. Oh. 
Melier. It's not. Really. Really. Okay. Last Le round goes to you. Left. Could this get any worse for me? <laughs> Lord. But it could, yeah. Have it could be mercy. One, it could be one more player, couldn't it? It um, could be, yeah. So, so I guess, realistically, we might have to have a German from the Prem to get this working, and that would be Tilo Kera. And then you have one, two, three, four. Then you have a centre back. I don't really know. Um, I guess I'll go left striker. Okay. And I'll say, are they from the Premier League? No. Okay. Do I think they're going to be Dortmund Day again, or do I think it'll be this Goncalo Ramos? How many Portuguese players you've got in your team at the moment? One, two, three, four, six. You could potentially have another one. Oof, if you've got another one, then this. Cristiano, still. Uh, do they play? I know they're gonna play in the Bundesliga. I guess they could still play. Are they gonna? Are they from the Bundesliga? No. I think I'm flipping between Cristiano and his stupid Saudi card, or this Don Carlo Ramos. I'm gonna say. Well, actually, how many Prem players we got? One, two, three, four. So you only need one more to get the bits are onto Chem. So you don't need to use that Austrian striker from the Bundesliga. Oh, I don't know. Is it Cristiano Ronaldo? It's not Jesus Christ, but you did say his name. Oh, it's Goncalo Ramos. Oh, oh my God! Should have gone God. for that. That was the one I should. That was the. I know I had a lot of Portuguese, but holy moly, I thought he was safe. <laughs> it, was close. it was close. All right, shall I run you through my squad? Please do, mate. Um, Where did you end up going in the end? So I've got five. It's quite interesting that you've got Liganos because I've also got Liganos. I've got Fernandez, who's my left centre mid. Yeah. Enzo, and then I've got his perfect link, Otamendi, at right centre back. Oh, wow, you've actually got that uh, objective, yeah, objective card, card. Yeah. Wow, fair. Um, so we've got five Prem players. Emerson's covered off for an extra 10 point by Thiago Silva. Robertson's got Nunez up top. And then Ilanga is giving uh, Sabitza to the chem at left wing. Uh, and then we have three La Liga Argentinians. So we have Avia, uh, Lamella and Ruli. Get five Argentinians in. Very, very nice, mate. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, after after I got the Emerson Royale, it's just quite difficult to... I, still, I think I just went for the wrong players, unfortunately. Yeah, for me. it sometimes happens. And you didn't get as many rounds because I was on a bit of a tear. Yeah, you absolutely bloody decimated me. So, well, you did find out that Diogo Costa's in goal. Um, I safetyed my Sula, okay. which, in hindsight, didn't even help me keep Adeyemi because... If you knew I would have got Sula, you would definitely have got Adeyemi, but you got him anyway, so that's fantastic fun. Um, so at least I've got a back four, though. So I've got Sula, flashback Phil Jones, uh, Future Stars, Gaye, and obviously Guerrero Ariario. Yeah. Hanani, Sabitza, Palina, Bruno Fernandes, uh, and of course, obviously, my two up top was Adiemi and Goncalo Ramos. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So there you go. Uh, let's get some bronze players in, mate, and get into the game, shall yeah, we? I mean, it's a formality anyway. You're still going to win, aren't you? I mean, oh, not with a bronze keeper, and uh, I don't have a right side of attack, so uh, this is going to be yeah, a bit painful. This one, this one's going to be a bit painful, but let's do it. All right, mate. Bloody hell, absolutely decimated my team. We've got a lot of work to do in this game, and that team, Jesus Christ, Whew. those forwards look kind of those uh, those forwards look kind of nice, don't they? Jesus, mm -hmm. please, mine. <laughs> Well, let's see if Shan Huan Huan could j j not get killed on the pitch. Christ almighty. Get that. Oh, wow. I love that, Guerrero. Wow. <sighs> Last ditch defending to start bloody 1-0 already. Thank you very much. Oh, go on then. Leave me alone. Oh, my Ooh, God. What is my post. goalie doing? He's nowhere <laughs> near his post. <laughs> who even... Who even... Oh, no, it's Ruli. Wait, is that like inform Ruli really as well? Yeah, yeah. Mate, what? So, like, How's he actually near been near his near post? I didn't move him. Hey, that's 
That's weird as hell. I'll take that. Take that every day of the week. Oh, big save to silver. Oh, my Lord. This. Oh, I've red timed it. No, it's come back off me as well. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, great. He's missed it. Oh, that's a finish, to be fair. What weak foot is Lamella got? I swear he doesn't even have a right foot. Probably mate. Your fullbacks okay. just don't want to stay in position at all, mate, by the look of it. Jesus. Oh, this is true. I think I might be on. on. Oh, I think you are on. Yeah, you are on side. Ooh, the silver ain't saving that. Ooh. Fair play, mate. Fair play. I can't believe you're on side, actually. Just time is just bloody, It's bloody unbelievable. It's just unbelievable this game, turns. <laughs> Reminiscent of FIFA 20, Tom. FIFA 21, Tom. He's back. <laughs> So good. <laughs> Let's take some time away. Have a family, but now he's back and he's ready to crack some skulls. Boom. He is. Oh my Jesus Christ, what a finish. <laughs> oh God, even an actual keeper is saving that. No, that's off the we can't, bl can't blame Big Joshy to Silver for that one. Okay, well, we're in at half time. We are not in a good way. Having a keeper that's bronze and Lamella's finishing every bloody chance he seems mm. to get. With three one down at the break. Much like the gas guessing, mate. Started well, but it's all true. Going and then we've now. <laughs> yeah, at the halfway point, we've absolutely fallen off a cliff. Oh, it's beautiful. Jesus Look at Jesus that from Darwin. <laughs> what did you see? Phil Jones, please, not like this. Oh, Phil Jones, Christ Almighty, mate. Beautiful. What is that positioning, mate? Good God. All, all created by a wonderful rainbow <laughs> <laughs> Darwin. <laughs> <through> <laughs> <laughs> oh, the thing, dear. the funny thing is, if you put him in that position where uh, Enzo was, he ain't scoring. Yeah. he's missing that for sure. <laughs> you just bet your life on it. There's a chance it's Marcel Sabitzer. Oh no! Oh, Hanan. Yeah, now nah, Hanani's terrible. Right. Never recommended Hanani. You sacked. <laughs> you banned. <laughs> you banned. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible day at the office for me. Dear, dear. Well, that is um. Three discards for you, boy. Oh, dear. Lamella, very players. good. Lamella, very good. Did he score three. three out of the four chances as well? Yeah. But yeah, well, that's, that's, that's a bit good. Okay. Um. Just Honestly, as long as I don't lose my... Sorry, Cubs, to dis disturb you, but I'm just currently re-watching Darwin Nunes doing rainbow <laughs> flicks. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, I'm just sad every time. Okay, mate. Well, you've got three discards. Um, where would you like to go? Uh, for formation. 442. Goalkeeper in your two centre mids. You know what? Overall, it's not not terrible. Diogo Costa, Hanani, and uh, Gay. Not nah, too not bad. bad at all, is it? Not, not too bad. bad. At all. Could have been a lot worse. If it would have been Adiyemi and I wouldn't have been able to use him, uh, where Shan Huan Huan was at left back for about 400k, I would have been quite upset. But you know what? This is absolutely fine, mate. Let's go put him into an SBC. All right, then. Here we go. Uh, Diogo Costa, Gayi, and Hanani all going into the SBC. If you haven't joined, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out the episode we're about to him over on Tom's channel around the brand new Borussia Dortmund card. Got us some very, very interesting links. So uh, check that out. And until the next team takedown, we'll catch you guys next time.